right, so for following the order, the last one was fundamentals of wall climbing. It was going through the four points uh, around the body and stopping at those points to create four point pedals, either in spin or anti spin. I went over variations of it in split opposites, and I went over variations of it at the same time, same direction. Um, there's one I left out of there, but I'm sure you'll be fine to figure it out on your own to see it. So this one is going to be all about turning, points where you can turn. So what I mean by that is we have these four points, one, two, three, four, or three if you want to call this neutral, and then one, two, three, back to neutral. You have points where you can turn in those four point patterns 360. So if you have people watching you from around you, um, all the way around, 360 degrees or a crowd, you can learn as ways to turn. And long term, this is a fundamental practice. If you get this down, it will do wonders in your spinning and it will give you so much ability to move 100% around you in and out of patterns without question. So the movements happen here at the sides, at these points in the side. So what you're going to do is first do a pull in your hand or rack them up and hold them if you want. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to walk through this pattern with me without using pulling. So start at the bottom position. We're going to go up to our right. Now I'm facing my right. From here, I'm going to look to my right again, and I'm going to go up. Then I'm going to look to my right again, and I'm going to go to my left. And then I'm going to go back down. So forward. Up, here, down. It's the same exact thing going the opposite direction. Up, I'm looking to my left. Up, to my right, back down. So this, it gives you the ability to move 100%. I will say play with some footwork. Um, starting in the normal position, you'll need to know how to shift on your feet, like how I'm bringing my back heel up. You will also probably have a good idea of learning to step behind yourself or step over in front of you, being able to turn all the way around. So play with those ideas of stepping behind. Um, when working with all this wall plane stuff, keep your hips kind of flat in front. That way you can turn your torso to create these planes rather than having to amalgamate your whole body. But if you learn to pivot just on the toes of your feet from side to side, rather than trying to step like close together and stumble all over yourself, be a lot easier. So we just went over turning. That turning mechanism works in the same time variation, um, and it works the same way in the anti-span, and it works a lot of the same in a lot of different patterns. It just depends what your arms are doing. Like my arms work together there, at the same time and at the same points. So we're gonna go through that, what that looks like. So I'm gonna start spinning in reverse. I'm going to go up to my right side. I'm looking over here. I'm gonna go up to above me. In same time, I'm going to go back down here, and I'm going to go back down here. Cool? So walk through that, uh, making those patterns comfortably, slow down, take a nice deep breath. And on the sides, as I mentioned before, what this looks like from the side. So when I'm starting to reverse, going up here and see how they're now on the outside of my arms. I'm gonna go up, third in front of me, forward, back down. So there's your turning points for the same time, same direction. Now let's step into anti-spin. Anti-spin is the same thing, but it's a little different. So I'm gonna start spinning to my right. And as I begin to go up, we're gonna go on the inside of my arms. We go up, over, and down. Back to start. So up to my right side, up above me, and again, anti-spin down. They're going to be on the inside of my arms, and then back to starting position. It's the same thing the other direction. So I'm spinning them to my left. I'm going to go up between my arms, above my head, down between my arms, back to center. And the whole time I'm turning my body around while doing these patterns. So what that looks like in real time. So what really makes a difference here is really if you get these points here, 
really strongly together. So it allows you the ability to move. So yeah, there is spin and anti-spin for you as well. Butterflies the same way. So if you start to split opposites, come to where they're together inside your arms, turn, they're now back to a certain position, look to my right, back to inside my arms, back to starting position. So there you go. There you have now a split time, uh, same time, and anti-spin variation how to turn them. Now from the side of the split time, this is the funky part. So when your hands are here, when they come together, bring them on the inside of your arms, right here. When they come back out, they're back here. Come back to inside your arm where you can't see. So this is the point. This point here on the side, you can choose to go either way. You don't have to turn to your right. So I'm here. I'm turning towards my right side. I'm here. I'm turning towards my left side. All I'm doing is following the natural rotation of the boy. Um, you can do this again in anti-spin too, probably with this butterfly. Um, so if you started here, you'd be going this way to go normal spin. So we're going to go outside to go anti-spin. Same thing between the arms. So they're here, up, which is the anti-spin, forward anti-spin, back up, back out, back up. So the anti-spin variation of that is basically your top. So we're gonna start with my right hand up. I'm gonna go to my left side. And my left side here, and then come back up, and then from here I'm gonna go to my right side, here, and then back up. And again, if you can get more comfortable with just using those lockouts rather than your wrists, it'll give you a ton to work with. And then turning, and that's the same thing. It's just here, your arms are together, or on the inside of my arms. And as I begin to turn, I'm going to bring them back up. So you get the point. So there you go. There's a the timing and direction, turning, and playing stuff. Thank you for watching.